my name is Clemence and um, yeah, I've been I've been wanting to film uh, videos from or vlogs from quite a while, but I it's very scary. <laughs> but um, yeah, I thought I will never film really, so I just decided to start and you know what the hell. Um, yeah, so maybe a bit little bit of a, or maybe a bit of, so maybe a bit of <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> anyway. So, let's start maybe with a little bit about me. Um, I am French, but I've been, I've been living in Norway for maybe four or five years now. And yeah, I just, I just really like drawing and painting and so on. And I thought, you know, I'm not professional or anything, but I thought it would be, it would be really fun to document the artistic process, let's say, that I'm going through and to see uh, changes over the years and I really hope that this uh, YouTube channel can be a good place for that and hopefully you can find some interesting, I don't know, motivation or just some company when you draw and when you feel, you know, blocked in your art journey and I know that I really like watching uh, artist vlogs and I thought just it just made sense to to start making some as well because I really like um, I really like doing videos and doing video editing and so on and it's just a bit a uh, problem of filming oneself which is very difficult I find but uh, I think it's just a, a learning curve and yeah I, I hope to go through that so that it will become easier with time but we'll see. Um, I think I wanted to start with a bit of my uh, you know, where I'm at creatively and where I want to go. For starter, just a quick uh, background. I was drawing a lot as a kid and as a teenager, but when I started university, I was not studying art, I was studying biology. So there was a lot of work to do and I didn't really find or take the time to, um, to draw anymore. I mean, I never fully stopped to draw but I wasn't taking the time anymore to do finished paintings. I was just sketching and doing studies uh, when I was going to the museum on the park or you know just drawing whatever I could see in front of me. Um, I was still having a lot of ideas for tons of projects but uh, never had the time to do any of them and so I was building up this weird feeling of, of, of guilt uh, because I was not actually doing all of these cool projects that I wanted to do. Um, I was barely starting any of them and of course never finishing any. But during my master's degree I, I started a scientific illustration project where I would draw Arctic birds basically. It felt like a good bridge between my studies and uh, my career choice in biology on one side and on the other side my was a passion for illustration. It felt like I was, was some sort of justification to draw because it was linked to biology. Um, and so I actually did a quite a lot of work for that project and I learned so much. I, I learned how to use acrylic and watercolor, how to you know how to plan out uh, and how to finish a big like a large painting for example and so on. But um, after a few months, maybe maybe a year uh, of, of doing that, um, that got a bit monotonous and repetitive. I felt a bit uh, limited because you know I was I was getting more confident with painting, and so I wanted I wanted more. I wanted to draw characters and landscapes, and I wanted to use all the nice pinks and purples in my palette, and you know all the belts are like brown and gray and black and white and so on and. So yeah, I just, I just started to feel a bit limited and wanting to do more. And so, you know, January 2019, I think, I just I just bought a sketchbook and I started to draw in it. Um, and that was very difficult because, um, you know, I, I was starting to get pretty good when I was a teenager. But after several years of not really working on my skills and just doing just some random sketches now and then during my um, university years, uh, it was it was like learning to draw from scratch again. And 
it's not just difficult because you're rusty or because you don't have great skills, but it's also very uncomfortable emotionally. Because I felt like I wasn't good enough. I because for all those years, uh, on one side I was not improving my skills, but on the other side I was still very interested in illustration. I was seeing the work of other artists and I was getting super inspired and I was refining my taste. But so when I started drawing again for myself from imagination, there was this huge gap between my vision, so what I was um, like, what I wanted to draw and what I was expecting myself to draw, and on the other side my skills, so like what I was actually able to draw. Um, I was I was still very happy with most of the things I was drawing and painting, and I was just so happy to be doing it again, right? To be to be working on that again. Um, but also still seeing this very big uncomfortable gap between the work I was doing and the work I wanted to be doing. Um, and I mean, I still have that now, right? And and I think it's this. I think this feeling is always going to be there. You know, it's it's something you have to learn to work with, and you have to push your boundaries little by little. You know, like as you build up your skills, and you get closer to the work you actually want to be doing. But there will always be this gap between your skills and your vision, and you just have to learn to live with it, I think. Um, anyway, I started drawing from imagination again, just a little bit, and doing some photo studies, landscapes, drawing nature scenes, and so on. And just basically just trying to catch up and to explore my interests and the themes and the styles that I wanted to work on. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been drawing since then. Uh, I feel like I haven't drawn so much, especially in the last year, but that's because I've been moving a lot. So since my master ended, I've lived in three different countries and I've been moving every few months. Yeah, so it has been difficult to find time to draw and to paint. I don't know. I I kind of had the need to just sit on down a bit, but now I feel like I'm in a really good place and. I really feel like it's a good time to, you know, start investing more time into documenting this process and also, yeah, just painting more and exploring more where I want to go creatively. Um, I can see already uh, a change in the subjects that I'm uh, painting. Until last year I was mostly doing photo studies, landscapes, some plants and so on. And since then, I, I haven't really been drawing so much, but I've been kind of si shifting my work to more character-based illustration, more, you know, scenes that actually tell a story. And it's really fun. Uh, it's really challenging, but it's really fun. And, um, and yeah, it's just really interesting to see that happening. And, and I really want to get more into that. Um, I really want to get into storytelling, but I... I just feel like it's so difficult. I, I've never really written anything before. Uh, I don't know how to write. <laughs> I know how to write, but you know what I mean. Um, I would also love to explore more, you know, some other medium to, uh, to, to do storytelling. So maybe some series of illustration that tell a story. Um, maybe a bit of animation or video game development, uh, you know, I, I don't know, it's... I know it's all very ambitious, but that's that's a part of the fun, right? And I don't know, that's something that I will have to figure out in, in the future. But uh, yeah, anyway, I, I think that's, uh, that's a good overview of my creative background and just a bit of a peek as to where I'm, I'm going uh, and for the rest I think you will just have to you know follow me along for it so yeah okay bye <laughs>